Archibald Lampman was born November 1861 in Morpeth, Ontario. As a child, Lampman and his family moved to Gore's Landing. Uh, the son of a clergyman named Archibald, he enjoyed a simple but strict childhood in the countryside. Lampman attended the same university as his father, Trinity College, where he received a BA in 1882. After finishing college, he attempted a career in teaching but soon failed, finding out he was not fit for that role. He then took up a job as a postal clerk uh, with the help of a friend, which he would hold for the rest of his life. Lampman's first real start in writing came during his college days, where he would write multiple articles in his school newspaper. Despite a little success with his writing, he was unable to find a publisher and was to publish his first collection, which was called Among the Millet, on his own in 1888. This this happened just after he married Maud Plater, 20 year old, in 1887. With Maud, they birthed three children a girl and two boys. The middle boy sadly died. Uh, this would affect not only Lampman's life, but deeply affect his writing also. He's commonly associated with a group of poets, which included William Bliss Carmen, Charles George Douglas Roberts, and Duncan Campbell Scott. They have been variously referred to as the group of the 60s and the Confederation. Lampman's poems are often nature-based, discussing in the human emotions. Some critics and biographers even say many of his poems are underlying with his socialist ideology, and despite his religious upbringing, religion is not a major factor in many of his poems. The combination of his days of college ending and the death of his middle son, he became a placid, reclusive, and shy man with an overall negative outlook on life. He even once said about himself, he was a coward, a hypochondriac, and even a minor poet of not much relevance. Overall, Lemon's life was one that was melancholy, covered in mediocrity, and in a way boring. never achieving what he was capable of. Achieving excellence in only a portion of his poems, finishing school with only second class standings, and never being comfortable with his financial situation. Despite often complaining about his job as a postal clerk, he never tried to change it. Many people describe him in the last 16 years of his life as uneventful and boring. Still, Lampman did enjoy some successes uh, late in life, such as becoming a member of clubs like the Royal Society of Canada and the Social Science Club and others. But sadly, Archibald Lampman died young in 1899 uh, due to a weak heart and an after effect of his childhood rheumatic fever.